Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a little minute, but today I'm coming to you guys with an unboxing and just a overview of my trip to Singapore. So uh, stay tuned. Okay, so I just came back from my trip from Singapore and it was amazing. I'm gonna insert some clips of different areas that I went into and different uh, airbnbs that i stayed at so basically on my trip i wanted to experience as much of the island as i could so i hopped around airbnb so i stayed at about three of them and it was really really fun i feel like with the airbnbs i went from the okay spots to like an amazing spot so it got better with time and i'm glad i did it that way as opposed to vice versa where it started off at an amazing spot ended up at an okay spot Singapore is such an amazing place I would definitely go back I enjoyed every minute I met some new friends there I have made some experiences that I will never forget I did not document every single thing that I did there which was an error on my part because I was trying to experience it as much as possible instead of being like super into my phone and stuff like that so a lot of the stuff that I didn't capture but I did get some good things and I'll just insert them um, just little snippets snippets of different things that I drive. Okay, so today is day one in Singapore and I'm so excited. I'm walking to the train station right now and I am going to go to Marina um, Bay. So far, this has been a beautiful experience. I just got to 
just left my Airbnb and the weather right now is like kind of muggy but it's not too too hot and it's awkward because people are staring at me while I'm videoing but it's okay so anyway um yeah I'll take you guys along with me as I go through my day um stay tuned again I'm loving my trip so far I'm so so happy uh this is amazing <laughs> so all right stay tuned bye These last moments in Singapore, this was my favorite trip ever. Like, love, love, love it. So, by the way, the bridges are beautiful. It's like cross the bridge to get across the street. So nice.
so as I was walking around Singapore, um, I felt like I needed a new bag. I just needed like a little small bag that I can carry along and not nothing too, too heavy. And that's what made me go into Louis Vuitton. So I was talking to the salesperson. She gave me a few little bags and I picked this one and I am really happy that I got it. So let's get to the unboxing. So here's the box that it came in. And again, I got this from Singapore. So I was able to get my taxes back at the airport, which was amazing. So I actually saved maybe like two, three, 200 something dollars on this bag. So it comes in this box and the box is collapsible. So I was able to take the box with me back home so I can reuse it and keep storing my my bag in here so that was good so da, 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 da. it's a small bag this is called the tambourine envy so this is what it looks like out of the box so basically it was between this and a gucci crossbody bag so that's the two things i was in about to get in because I'm more of a Louis Vuitton girl I end up getting this one but it's basically a crossbody it has a really long strap that you can adjust on the side and make it smaller um and then it's just a simple to open it it has like a little uh kind of like a belt loop type of opening so you open it like that and boom inside is red which I thought was super cool and basically it has the little book but basically inside it's just a little space for you to drop everything in and then the space for like your wallet and things like that so what I had inside this bag was my phone my keys my passport um, a little bit of money and my metro card and I felt like this was exactly what I needed when I was walking around Singapore as opposed to carrying a big bag or a book bag so um, I definitely love this bag. The only thing about this bag that I am not really that into is the strap. Okay, so the strap goes from being slim, slim, and then it gets really thick at the top. So when it's actually across your body, it kind of just, it's kind of thick. And I don't really like that, but it's not a bad thing when it's on your shoulder. It gives it a lot of support. But when you cross it across your body, it kind of cuts into your outfits and stuff, like, if that makes any sense. So, how I was wearing it was, like, kind of like a messenger on the side, like that. But anyway, I really like this bag. It's super cute and it's super small. So, in Singaporean dollars, I think it was, like, $2,300. But, um, converted to U.S. dollars, it was $1,700. $1,700 and then like I said I got the $198 back in the taxes or something around that much so I would say this bag is about maybe like $1,550 US dollars um, I did not go on the Louis Vuitton website to see what the actual price is but um, what I loved about this bag she said that it was super rare meaning it wasn't as many produced every um like as opposed to a speedy or never full so she said that um the salesperson that helped me she was super sweet um she said that uh it wasn't something you would see on everybody and i haven't seen it on anybody else i really 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 enjoy this bag so this is a new part of my uh handbag collection um i definitely plan on wearing it a lot while i'm here because when i want to be on the go and all i want to carry is my phone and my wallet this is great for that it's not that thick um and i love that it has like a lot of the leather on it uh so yeah so the only thing about this bag that's kind of uh, to me is just that on the side the the um the closure is only connected right here at the bottom so this part kind of sticks up so you just got to be careful with it so it doesn't snag on anything and pull but um i haven't had any issues but i am mindful of that but yeah this is my new purchase and i like it and i actually am happy that i got it out of the country because i was able to get my taxes back so now that's probably the only way i will buy handbags moving forward is if i get it out of country when I travel so yeah 
But like I said, I really, really enjoy Singapore. You saw the clips. It was like a beautiful place. I can't really put into words how amazing I felt when I was there. Super free. It was a solo trip, so I was by myself. I felt very safe. I didn't have any uncomfortable experiences while I was there. Oh, pardon my nails. I just went um, polish shopping, and these are the three colors I got, so I just tried them on. But anyway... Um, I got some jewelry while I was there as well um, when I was on in Little India. So I got this chain and pendant. It is the goddess. It's a goddess, an Indian goddess of um, wealth and prosperity. And then I got this necklace. I got this bracelet while I was there um, because all their gold is 24 karat gold. And so I felt really comfortable with purchasing gold. I love gold, so I felt really comfortable with purchasing gold from there. And then um, the salespeople were so nice. And they give you, like, discounts on the maker's cost of the gold. You pay the gold price and the however many ounces of gold you have. And then however much it costs to make it, they'll give you discounts on that. So that was kind of cool. So, yeah, I and thoroughly enjoyed my trip. And I definitely will go back. Um... Let's see. One of the big things I would say with being there is I didn't research enough the foods that I should eat. I did eat a lot of food and I liked it. But I feel like um, I was playing it safe because I didn't really know what to get. Because it, a lot of the food is like authentic Chinese food. And if you don't, because I'm a vegetarian, I couldn't eat a lot of their food. Like uh, it had a lot of pork, beef, chicken and all that stuff. So... In Little India, a lot of their stuff is vegetarian, so I ate a lot there, and I felt comfortable with that. But when you're eating the Chinese food, you don't know exactly what you're eating, and if it has certain ingredients that you're not used to, uh, I would have I would have done more research of places to eat as opposed to just going there and then just winging it. Because a lot of the hawkers hawker centers, where it's like a bunch of food places, a lot of that stuff is cooked in pork. There's a lot of pork incorporated in the food, and it was just kind of like. I was kind of stuck, but I was able to experience some food, and I'll insert some pics of some, some food that I ate there, and I enjoyed it. So, uh, while I was in Singapore, every single place I went, I went with uh, the MRT, which is the metro, and the bus. So, I did only one taxi, which was two taxis, which was when I was going and coming from the airport. Other than that, everything was public transportation. And it was super, super, super easy to navigate the streets of Singapore on public trains. And here's a fun fact. The whole time I was there, I did not have any cell phone connection. Everything was off of Wi-Fi. So while I was in the streets, I did not have GPS or anything like that. So thank you guys for watching. I'm going to stop rambling. Um, comment below if you've been to Singapore or if you plan to go, if you want to ask me some questions.